There are two types of annuities available through the United States Railroad Retirement Board. Information concerning these pensions is available through its webpage at www.rrb.gov. A railroad employee must file an application with the RRB to receive a railroad retirement annuity. Age and railroad service are important factors in determining whether an employee qualifies for a railroad pension and if there will be any deductions from the pension due to either factor. Generally, if a railroad employee has at least 240 months of railroad service, the employee can retire in the first full month he or she is 60. The employee will have a Tier 1 age reduction if he or she met the age or service requirement in a month after June 1984 and before January 2002, and the annuity beginning date is before January 1, 2002, and the employee retired before reaching 62. Full retirement age is the age an employee with less than 30 years of railroad service can receive a full annuity. Full railroad retirement age for Tier 1 benefits is 65, if the employee was born before January 2, 1938. The full retirement age is scheduled to gradually increase over the next 20 years to 67. Full railroad retirement age for Tier 2 age reductions is 65 if the employee had credible service before August 12, 1938. Otherwise, the full age for Tier 2 age reduction is scheduled to also increase over 20 years, as is the Tier 1 full retirement age. The RRB has a chart on its webpage which contains the scheduled age increases and should be consulted to determine the effect of age on an employee's pension benefits. And a railroad employee may qualify for an employee occupational disability if he or she is permanently disabled from their railroad occupation and have a current connection with the railroad industry. An employee of any age is eligible for an occupational disability pension if they have 240 months of credible railroad service. An employee who is 60 or older is eligible for a disability pension if they have over 120 months of credible railroad service. You must file an application with the RRB to receive a disability pension. According to the law, a disability annuity cannot begin prior to the first day of the sixth month following the month in which the disability begins. There's also a total disability annuity, and to qualify for a total disability through the RRB, the employee must have at least 120 months of credible railroad service, or at least 60 months of credible service after 1995. If an employee has less than 120 months of credible railroad service, and if they qualify for a total disability annuity, the employee can receive his or her Tier 1 component on the beginning date of the annuity, but the Tier 2 component is not collectible until the employee reaches age 65. To qualify, the employee must be permanently disabled from all types of work and have stopped any substantial gainful employment. Hopefully, this brief summary of the RRB annuity information provides some insight into the general criteria for these benefits. Should you have any questions concerning specific details of these benefits, you should feel free to consult the RRB webpage, the nearest Railroad Retirement Board field office, or give our office a call. For a free confidential consultation with one of our experienced injury attorneys, call our toll-free number or fill out a quick contact form today.